So guys, welcome to my channel. This is your friend Bimlesh Kumar Singh, and in this video, I'm going to show you about how to find the stars and how to identify it while at night for taking planets and star the bearing. So before going further into the video, you must know certain things for this process. So let's go and talk about that. So how? You must be wondering then why it is important to bother about finding stars and how we are going to do that. So for that we have a special two procedures are there actually on board by which you can find the star. Why we need to find a star? So when you are at sea in the middle of the ocean in the high seas, actually you need to find the compass error, your gyro error and also the magnetic compass error. So to find that you must calculate, we must use the body, celestial body which is present there during that time either day or night. Once there is day we use normally sun okay, or moon or if there is night that is the night time. So we use star and planets and moon for calculating our errors by using a simple method that every cadet and officers they know very well that what are the steps you have to follow and where you get this information and put those into the formula and you can get your uh, gyro error and the deviation mostly the deviation of the magnetic compass. So that is the idea behind that why we need to find the star planet or all these celestial bodies. So how you are going to find because you cannot remember all the names of the star when you first come at sea because once you join as a cadet you have very less idea about the stars and constellation and their names. So for that board you have provided with one of the templates that is called your star finder you can see here star finder and identifier so this book normally this template normally used to find the star this is the traditional way but today what i am going to show you is totally different from this these are the templates actually which are provided here you have in this star finder chart you will have a, a chart something like this for two hemisphere one is for your southern hemisphere and other one is other side you will have for northern hemisphere. So this chart normally is used to find the stars. Here you have a circle different stars at different places if you can see okay and this is on the other side and using this chart and these templates which are given you can see here a lot of templates are given. So these templates are used for doing that using this template and this chart everybody knows this is the traditional way normally everybody know this uh, procedure I will explain you in some other video but today our topic is not using this okay we will not use this we, we are going to use some other method to find the stars so what is the other method so other method is very simple very easy which you can do when you are at sea because on board you have some publications which are provided stars which having the higher magnitude easily easy you can detect four or five stars and once you detect the stars you can take the bearing and find the error whatever you required okay so you can do your calculation based on that so for doing that you need two books the first book is your nautical almanac of course this one your NP 314 this is the publication which is used okay so your the nautical almanac you can use and the second book which is most important book people don't know that you can use for finding the star is your site reduction table the site reduction table and air navigation mostly this is called air navigation so this book we are going to use to find the stars okay this almanac we use to get the some uh, data that is uh, there for one year so you have to check the date GMT time and then using those you can find some data from here and that data we will use in this book to find out the star okay so let's go I will show you how we are going to do that so first to get the star to find the star first thing you need is that is your GMT time okay so we need the GMT time first you can take from your clock or you can use your radar or the GPS you have uh, provided the times so timing you can take from the GPS that is your GMT time okay so once you have the GMT time you have to come on this nautical almanac book this is your book okay you have to come on nautical almanac and once you are there on the nautical almanac what you have to do using that GMT so to calculate the to do the calculation first what we need we need the GMT time and second we need the date so let's suppose today the date is 
27 okay you can see this is December 27 28 29 27 28 29 so first thing you need the date and the GMT time so you have uh, taken your GMT from the GPS or your clock second you have to come on the particular date let us say today date is 27 so you have to come on 27 date this side and this is UT universal time that means GMT time so you take which what is the time from here using that GMT you find the GHA Aries okay once you find the GHA Aries so using GMT once you have find date you have date you must be knowing and this is your GMT you can find GHA Aries you apply your longitude correction once correction is there you will find the you will find the LHA Aries after applying the longitude correction so using this LHA Aries you have to come another book close this book and you have to take the air navigation book okay then you have to take air navigation book and you have to follow there so once you have find the LHA Aries you have to come to this book and look for the latitude so presently our latitude is 13 degree 53.9 minute so we can go on 13 degree north or you can go on 14 degree north of latitude you can find this page very easily on the top corner you can find the latitude okay so using the LHA Aries which we have calculated you just go on that LHA Aries from this is given from 0 till you have till 269 and 359 degree okay so it is given for all degrees 0 to 360 degree so once you know the LHA Aries you find that LHA Aries and go look for the stars which are visible in that latitude so for example let us say our LHA Aries has come 165 okay so we go look for 165 so here is 165 and all these stars are available for you to take the bearing and you can calculate your corrections okay so here you can see two things are given one is 41 degree let us say for Dubai is 41 degree 21 minute and 001 so this 001 is the bearing and this is your altitude from the horizon you can see here on top this is Zn and this is Hc so Zn is your bearing these are the bearings and your Hc these are the altitude from the horizon so you have C horizon over there so above that how much above that horizon is the star you can check from there that is your thing and bearing bearing you can take from the azimuth circle okay azimuth circle is provided you can take the bearing from the azimuth circle from azimuth circle you can take the bearing and azimuth circle is also provided on the port side wing and the starboard side wing so on the bridge wing you are provided with the azimuth circle you have the compass repeater these repeaters are provided over there you can see that is the repeater so that the repeaters are provided on the starboard side wing also and you have on the port side wing also so using those repeaters you can find the bearing of the stars and for height you can just use your thumb so you can use your this thumb one thumb is about 5 degree so you just put on the horizon like that and this 5 degree 5 degree you can just bring up 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 and you can find the height of the star so by getting the bearing and the height by getting the bearing and the height you very easily you know where is this star and then you can use it for your calculations.